All right, I'm going to show how to install a three to one pulley system. This can be useful for climbers who don't have quite the upper body strength or who uh, just need a little bit of extra help in order to be able to get up a rope uh, during a group climb. The first step to installing a uh, three to one pulley system is to get the uh, line that's going to be attaching the, uh, that, you're, that you'll use to haul up the three to one system. And so uh, we'll need a rope with a cambium saver on it. We're going to tie our timber hitch to get the uh, rope up and over the tie-in point. Starts with a clove hitch. Put that clove hitch down about a foot on the rope and then make a series of half hitches that lock onto the rope like this. This will allow you to be able to pull the rope up into the tree. All right, once the free end of the rope comes up over the tie-in point, then we will tie a slip knot in the rope. That slip knot is what will help us to be able to get the friction saver placed in the tree. As that slip knot goes up, Right, as, right when our uh, when the free end of the rope comes down, that means that the slip knot is about to engage on the cambium saver. And as we pull there, I can just see the cambium saver popping up over that back side or the front side of that tie-in point. So I'm going to pull down with my left hand to release the safe the slip knot. And now it's sliding freely over the tie-in point through the cambium saver. Now I can undo the timber hitch that we used to get the rope up into the tree. And then I'll coil up the tag line so it's not tangling or getting in the way. All right, in order to assemble this three to one pulley system, you're going to need one rope that is going to haul up the pulley system into the tree and then it's going to get locked off on the trunk of the tree. And then you're going to need another rope. Usually that needs to be quite a long rope. That's the one that's going to actually be the pulley system uh, and it needs to be three times the length from the ground to the tie-in point. You'll also need a rope uh, for tying off to the trunk of the tree. That's what we'll use this one for. We'll put this out of the way. That's not part of the system. You'll need uh, some sort of a heavy duty locking carabiner or what I prefer to use is a delta link. Um, that's what's going to, you're going to attach the top of the pulley system to this rope to pull it up. And then you'll need two pulleys. You'll need four carabiners, and then you'll need something to be able to lock off the rope at the trunk. I like to use a figure eight. Uh, you can also use a gree gree. And then lastly, you'll need what's called a split tail. This is going to be used, we'll tie the Blake's hitch with this. Let me show you how it all fits together. So first we're going to use this rope, which is about I would say about 18 to 20 feet long. This is going to get, it's going to go around the trunk of the tree. Ideally it can go around twice. Or more than, at least more than once. Keep it simple, we'll just tie a figure eight on a bike here on the end. And 
on this other end is going to go through the bite on the figure eight on a bite. We'll come back to that one in just a moment. All right, on the rope that's up and over the tie end point, on the free end of that rope, we're also going to tie a figure eight on a bite. This figure eight on a bite is going to contain this delta link. Now on the rope that we're going to use for the actual three to one pulley system, we're going to tie a figure eight on a bite on the end of that rope as well. Again, you want to make the bite as small as possible. We'll take one of the carabiners, put that through the figure eight on a bite. We're also going to take a loop and put one of our pulleys onto that. I'll take out the delta link so that we can assemble everything on here. So first we'll put the pulley on to the delta link and then we're going to put the carabiner, this is a screw lock so I need to make sure that it's screwed down. And then we're going to put the delta link through and we'll screw that delta link all the way up as well. And then, pull this up a little bit so that it's in the line of view a little bit better. Here we're going to put the second pulley in the trough right here. So now what we have, we've got our standing end of the line, goes up and over the tie in point, and it comes down to the free end of this rope and on this rope we have the delta link, there's a pulley and a carabiner screwed down and we have the uh, figure eight on a bite here. Now we need to put another carabiner onto that pulley and then this split tail is going to go onto the bottom there. Now this has a sewn eye on it, but you could also just tie a figure eight on a bite or um, any kind of knot that's going to be able to hold this onto the um, carabiner. Now as we pull down on the haul line, we're going to be bringing up the whole system and you'll see that the rope comes out of the bag pretty fast because you're pulling three times as much rope up into the tree as you are pulling down on the haul line. Now once that whole system gets right up there to the uh, to the cambium saver, that's when you need to stop. Now all this rope down here is just your extra rope. Let me show you how we're going to tie this off to the uh, tree. All right, one of these carabiners is going to go into this sewn eye, and then the way this figure eight works is you just make a loop of rope stick the big stick the loop of rope through the big end and then capture it on the small end and then so it looks like this again put a bite of rope through the big end capture it on the small end and then we're going to attach the small end there now we want to take out any slack and in order to lock off a figure eight, we're going to 
take this end of the rope, the standing, the free end of the rope, and we're going to snap it down in place here. Now that's called a soft lock. We need to totally lock it off so that nothing happens while the person is climbing. And to do that, you take a bite of the rope, put it through the carabiner that's underneath, make a nice long bite, bring that up above the figure eight on a bite, and we're just going to make a regular overhand knot, and then put the other car put the last carabiner through there and tie it down. Now, all of this stuff up here is just that's it makes a hard lock. If this were to start slipping, this is not going to be able to all of this is not going to be able to come through and go through the on the figure eight on a bite. Okay. So coming back over here, now we've got the um, three to one pulley system is, has been pulled up into the tree up there. Down here we have one pulley uh, and our split tail. This split tail is what we're going to use to tie our Blake hitch. Now in this case I have a, a different kind of rope. Uh, you can certainly use the same kind of rope as well. And you're going to tie the Blake hitch the exact same way that you would on any other uh, uh, regular double rope uh, system. All right, so a carabiner goes into the figure eight on a bite. And we need to weight this system. Make sure that the knot is tied, dressed, and set. Take out all the slack. So over there on the trunk, you'll see that system is holding the whole three to one pulley system. And the benefit of this three to one pulley system is that instead of having to lift basically half of your weight with each pull, you're only doing one third of your weight. So without even using my legs, I can climb this rope with just my arms. Then when you're ready to come down, it's exactly the same with any other Blake's hitch system. Pull down on the Blake's hitch and let the rope come down to you. Now, the nice thing about this way of tying the system is that if a child goes up or an adult or whatever, for whatever reason, they have an issue, they're up there in the tree and they can't come down, well, this whole system is releasable from down at the, down on the ground. So let's say that a climber was up there and had an issue or was scared and, or didn't have the even, sometimes they don't have the strength to pull down on the Blake's hitch. The facilitator can come over here. They can undo this carabiner right here and undo this hard lock. At this point, you're back to a soft lock. All they would need to do is, while keeping uh, the, the free end of the rope, keeping some pressure on that, just unclip or click out of that uh, hard lock. And then, if there was weight on the line, let me see if I can weight it a little bit, then they can just run the rope through the figure eight device and bring the person down.